Hi, Dr. Dolly. I have a couple of questions about locums. They're kind of separate, so I'll ask them in two separate speak pipes. I am an anesthesiology resident, and I'm strongly considering doing locums when I graduate, at least for a few years. I know you've had a few people on the podcast that have done locums for a while, but I feel like most, if not all of them, have been single when they were doing it, whereas I am married, have one young child, and hopefully will have more on the way. I was just wondering if there was anybody who could come on and talk about their experiences, or if you anecdotally have secondhand experiences from people that have done this as a family, and what sort of things I might be missing that would be you know, ramifications of moving that often uh, on family life. We are planning to probably homeschool my kids at least when they're younger for a little while, so I don't think that part would be impacted as much. Uh, would appreciate your thoughts. Thanks. Um, okay, so that's a call for a, for a guest on the podcast. You guys know how to apply for that. Go to whitecoatinvestor.com under the About page. You'll see a podcast guest policy. That's where you can apply to be a podcast guest if you are in that situation. I don't know very many people in that situation. I think it's pretty rare. And uh, so I'm going to guess we're not going to get a guest. So I'm just going to ramble about it and uh, give you my thoughts about it. Uh, here's the deal. This works fine for people who are married, particularly just after they get married. I've met a lot of people, doctors, physical therapists, whatever, who did this for a few years after they got married, after they came out of school, whatever, had a great time. Went to New Zealand, went to Alaska, practiced in Canada, whatever. They just did all kinds of cool stuff. I also know people who have done it at the beginning of their career, including anesthesiologists that have done it like you're doing. They get out there, they make tons of money, they're getting their living expenses paid. They've got you know a spouse, maybe a young kid, and they do this for a few years and then kind of settle down after a while. But this is your life. You get to create it. And the thing that forces most families to settle down a bit is kids in school. And when kids are in school, it's hard to, to move around a bunch and to be you know world travelers, um, particularly as they get into high school and get involved in high school kind of activities and they have you know um, AP tests and things that are just harder to miss. And so while we haven't done this, we've settled down basically. Uh, when we moved into our current house, our, um, our oldest was six years old. She's now in college. So I think this is traditional path that most people do is kind of what we're on. But you can do whatever you want. And if you're willing to homeschool, you can travel the world. You know, you're not limited just to being in the U.S. even. You could go all over the place and have a great time. So it's up to you and your family what you're willing to do. But I bet you go do this for a while and then kind of feel like settling down a little bit. And that's fine. Go have an adventure. It'll be great. You can get paid a little bit more often doing locums. It'll cover a lot of your living expenses. Um, you know, a one-year-old doesn't care where he or she lives. You know, and if you and your spouse want to get out and do something cool for a while, go for it. Maybe it lasts 10 years. Maybe it lasts 15 years. Maybe you do it for your entire career. I have no idea. But I think it can be done. I just don't think there's very many people doing it. Most locums people are, are singles at the beginning of their careers. Uh, I think there's plenty at, toward the end of their career. They just want a little more control over how much they're working. Um, and then I think people occasionally do it sabbatical, like during the career when they lose a job or something like that. Um, but deliberately doing it with a family for your whole career, I think you're in fairly rare company. Um, but I wouldn't let that discourage you from doing it if that's what you want. This is a very doable thing. And what's the point of financial freedom if you can't live the life you want? The hosts of The White Coat Investor are not licensed accountants, attorneys, or financial advisors. This podcast is for your entertainment and information only. It should not be considered professional or personalized financial advice. You should consult the appropriate professional for specific advice relating to your situation. 